Hello everyone, it's Sabrina here for Pretty Little Things, so make sure you like and subscribe. Today I'm going to be doing a really gorgeous evening sort of look. Something that you can wear if you're going out with your girls or your friends or you mean of your partner. This is going to be a look that all of you guys can try out and wear for those occasions. And then I'm also going to be sharing with you an outfit that I picked out to match the makeup. I just love this colour. This colour just looks so nice and it's so complimenting. Like, I cannot wait to show you. As you can see, I'm all fresh faced and ready to go, so let's begin. All of these products, all of these brushes, everything I'm using in this video is available, of course, on Pretty Little Thing. We're going to jump right in and I'm going to start off with the eyes, I reckon, just in case I get any fallout, I can just like wipe it off my face. I'm going to start off by taking the Barry M All Night Long Full Coverage Concealer. I actually really like this as an eyelid primer, so that's what we're going to use it for. So as you can see, I've just popped a little bit of that on. I am using the shade Oatmeal. So these are the Peaches and Cream Eye Brushes. This is the whole set. I'm using the PC52 brush. So when I went on the website, I saw that they had this Lorac Pro The Bakery box. When I saw all these colors, I thought this is just such a great palette to have for day to night. I'm gonna start off with the shade Choc Mousse. I'm gonna be applying to outer corner and also into the inner corner here near the tear duct. I feel like when I'm going out, there's certain makeup that I like to stick to and wear all the time, but it really does depend on my outfit as well. If I'm wearing quite a colorful outfit, then I'll wear something more neutral. But if I'm wearing something more neutral, then I'll go for like a bold eye or a bold lip, you know. Using the same brush, I'm going to take the shade Granola. So I'm using Granola to darken up that inner corner and the outer corner. Then I'm going to grab this little palette. How small and diddy is this? This is my Makeup Obsessions and this is the Bear With palette. I'm going to also open it up so you guys can see the colours that are in there. And I'm going to be using the black shade from the palette. The black is going to be concentrated just on the inner part and outer part as you can see right there. And then the centre bit I will of course clean up and really make that pop. So I'm thinking next so I want to add this shade here called Pancakes. Kind of got that warm tone to it, which I really, really like. Plus I want bronzy glowing skin. So I'm definitely going to go in with that shade next. Then once I'm happy with how everything is looking, blended, I've built up my colour. I will probably intensify the outer corner as well. Grabbing the concealer once again, I'm just going to pop some on the back of my hand and go back in with that brush I used to pop the concealer on. Going to look straight ahead in the mirror. And then what we're going to do is we're only doing this so that our centre colour will pop a lot more. It will come through it will be not as murky as the other colours because of course we're using black we're blending that out and sometimes that can be a little bit stubborn so I'm bringing that real high to that brow bone I've changed my brush now and I'm just blending that running a little bit of that pancake shade just to soften the edges I'm going in with the highlight shade which is in the centre of the palette and using chalk mousse to soften that and this is what we're working with we've got that spotlight centre eye then darkening it up with the black so it hasn't lost that intensity at this point in time I'm going to go and take the peaches and cream Cleopatra eyeliner. I'm going to be applying this to my tight line and to my waterline. I mean, I thought it'd be very fitting to use the Pretty Little Thing in collaboration with Tatty Lashes. These are the style Feeling Flirty. So I'm going to go and do the other eye and pop those on. Okay, so this is obviously the part of the makeup that looks weird. You know when you do your makeup and you kind of go through stages where you're like, okay, fresh face. Oh, now I'm looking a bit odd and then it comes together. This is the weird stage because of course I've got these dramatic eyes and then nothing else. But we're moving on to my favourite part now I love doing base makeup like I don't know about you guys but do you have a certain part that you just enjoy doing the most for me it is a base makeup because I feel like this makes the most difference I just love it so I'm going to be taking the twin pack swirl makeup sponges this is what it looks like when it is damp and it's really nice and soft and squishy which is what I like with my makeup sponges so I'm going to go in with a foundation now I'm going to be using the NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation a little bit of that onto the back of my hand. I'm gonna grab my sponge and we're gonna start putting that on. I really like how radiant this does look. I know it looks quite light here, but I will be using a liquid sort of bronzer and that will add a lot more warmth into my skin and even everything out as well. When I haven't filled in my eyebrows and I've just got this, I swear I feel like such a witch. I'm looking at myself like, oh girl, that's a little bit scary right now. So the Iconic London Sheer Bronzes are definitely up there with some of my favorite sort of radiant skin products that I like to use. The shade we're going to be using today is Spice Tan. I kind of mix and match whatever shades I'm using, but this is the one I decided to use today. So I'm just going to go and do a little dollop there, a little bit there, and then bring that up on this side. Honestly, I'm so happy that pretty little thing sell this. Just think it's so good that sometimes when you want to get like your outfit or you need like a top up of your lashes or you need something for your night out or anything like this, the fact that 
you can just get it all in one place is a bit to me. You can see how nice that blends out and it's so radiant. You can also build this up. So go back in with the brush and do a little swirl if you want to. You can do tapping motion to build up that product if you really want to concentrate it in one area. I will be using powders to set this all in place as well. I'm going to do the other side now. Time to conceal those under eyes and add a little bit more coverage. And I'm going to use a NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. Just popping that underneath their eye. I'll go up a little. <laughs> Just popping that underneath the eye. Yeah. So these are the areas I've decided to add the concealer to. There are many different techniques on how you can apply your concealer for your desired effect. I like to brighten my under eye because I don't know if you can see here. <sighs> probably can. I've got discoloration, like I naturally have dark under eyes. When I'm doing dark eyes like this, I like to make sure I'm going up with an even brighter concealer just to really highlight that, or you can use a color corrector as well. So I'm gonna be taking the Pretty Little Skin Glow Mist, which is Pretty Little Thing's own glowing spray. A little bit on the chest, that dry. Who doesn't love a little bit of radiance? The powder we're gonna be using is the Bake and Set by Morphe, and I decided to go with the brightening pink shade. I'm just gonna go in and set that in place, going down the side of the nose as well. I always do along the side of the nose. I feel like it just helps with snatching the overall nose. I'm gonna do a little bit on my chin, and then down the laugh lines, a tiny bit more down the center, or the bridge of the nose. Next up on my list of products is this little one here. I've never actually tried this bronzer ever before in my life. So this is the Doll Beauty Dull Gimme Sun. I'm using the shade Light. It comes in this really cute little heart packaging. Basically, I decided to go with this shade because it's kind of cool toned. It's not like a super warm bronzer. And if I'm going to use that to add a little bit of definition, a little bit more shape back into the face, talk to the face a little bit flat right now. And then I'm going to use this stunning bronzer that I saw and I was like, oh my god, I need to try that. It looks so nice. This is the PC03. Comes in that set. And basically, I just love how much movement you get on this. It's going to really buff out that product. Because this is matte as well, I was going to help buff off the under eye product. So I'm just going to go into the back of the cheekbone, the hollows of the cheek right there, along the jawline and the chin as well. I'm going to go around the back near the line that goes up to the ear and then down. Smaller brush now, just to add a little bit of definition on the nose. And I'm going to go on that under eye and just buff off that product. Other side now. See what I mean? How this brush just gives you that little bit of movement. Basically, it's applying the product, but it's also diffusing it at the same time. For a little bit of blush, I'm going to go in with Pavlova from the um, bakery box palette so that's one there and i'm hoping this little brush because it's quite fine will just fit in there nicely yeah that'll work i'm just gonna put that onto the high points of the cheeks i always like to run a little bit onto the bridge of the nose with that though and then a little bit onto the forehead that's actually such a nice soft color isn't it i really like that as a blush a product that when i saw on the website i was like Woo, i need to try this this is the maura higgins luxury tanning summer glow bronzer i'm gonna give you a shot of it up close you can see all the gorgeous just peachy sort of vibe in there looks absolutely stunning and it's massive like it's so big i'm going to use the same brush i'm just going to go in everywhere and then we're just going to go on those cheeks a little bit on the forehead on the nose it's going to be like a light dusting of a bronzer you know this is just to give that glow and warmth have any of you guys tried this bronzer yet pretty little thing obviously have quite a lot of brands like nyx morphe peaches and cream this you know, they've got their own collaboration with Tatty Lashes. So I do feel like there is quite a variety on the website. And when I was looking on there, I was like, damn, there's so many different things that you can get. That is definitely giving me that soft, glowing bronze vibe that I was after. And then this is the part where I feel like the makeup is actually coming together. So I'm going to do my eyebrows now. And this product, if you haven't tried this product, please do not sleep on it. Like, this is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I'm going to quickly run through my eyebrows just to make sure there's no product on them. Like, sometimes I like to do my eyebrows first but it's very rare that I will because I just find that when I do my cheeks and my foundation and bronzer and all this stuff I sometimes the product just gets in those eyebrows and they look a bit dusty this is a little tip you can see how fine it is what I like to do is I like to go to the front and then flick up and run it through as if I'm creating those hair like strokes because I use this product I feel like it makes my eyebrows look softer and I don't go as heavy as what I would do with a pencil okay so there you can kind of like obviously see the brush marks that I've made but if I go in with my little spoolie on the end of this and just soften it out a little bit then as you can see it just starts to look so much softer and i've not even filled in the whole brow so i'm just gonna go and fill in this part here brush product in before after oh yes I got eyebrows now, they're back. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly do the bottom lash line because of course it's looking a little bit bare. So I'm gonna go in with that first shade which was called Choc Mousse, we're gonna use that one. And this is just gonna be the base color and we'll go back in 
with the black shade as well. Then I'm smoking in some of the black, trying to keep that close to the waterline. And you see that shade that I used for the blusher? I'm actually gonna go around, and basically I'm gonna quick look over here for the mirror. We're gonna do a little bit of a C shape and bring it around, and that will just bring all the tones together. It's very subtle, but it just makes everything look more complete and one. So I'm gonna take the gold shade that I use in the center of the eyelid. Just do a little sweep right there, just like so. Time for the lips. So when I saw this on the website, I thought, oh my God, this looks so good, especially for the price. This is the Hold The Line Peaches and Cream Lip Liner Kit. So in this, you get five lip liners and they're all like gorgeous nude shades. Now the question is, what one do I go for? Mm, this one. And this one, ladies and gents, is the shade, da 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 da, praline, 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 one of them. <laughs> So I'm just gonna go around and line my lips like I normally would. Then I'm gonna go in and take a pretty little thing lip gloss. This one is in the shade In The Bath. Just a really nice nude. I'm not gonna go over lipstick. I've basically lined pretty much the whole of my lips and I'm just gonna pop this on top. So I just feel like this look needs a gloss, you know? Right in the center. So this is the makeup complete. So we've obviously gone for like that dark sort of neutral smoky eye. And then the skin looks radiant, but soft, a little bit more bronzy. And I'm gonna show you the outfit that I'm gonna wear with this makeup look. This ruched green skirt so it's going to be a lot shorter than this because it is going to be like ruched up a little bit higher and this is actually from the shapewear i'm pretty sure yeah shape sage green waffle knit ruched bodycon skirt i love green and i just feel look how nice the green goes with the eye makeup Ooh, i got the top to tie around as well because i thought that'd be really cute then i got a cute little white handbag this is just enough to obviously fit things in like my key my phone maybe a lip gloss or something the bag i thought would match with the shoes. I la, 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 love how chunky the heel are on these. These ones will do up my leg and they got this kind of like croc sort of inspired print here. So it looks like that. Obviously it's gonna tie up the leg. I just thought the shoes in the bag would complement each other so well. And I know some people will love like a nice thin heel, but hun, I love a chunky heel. I just find a chunky heel is way more comfortable for me. And you know what? I'd rather be comfortable in this day and age. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. But how cute are they? Okay, so I'm gonna go and try everything on so you can see everything fully together to get the final result. Let's go. So this is what everything looks like all together. Absolutely obsessed with this outfit and I just love the shoes. Honestly, they are so comfortable and I love how the eye looks super smoky, intense, but it's still that neutral kind of vibe so it doesn't look too much with the outfit. I feel like it just complements each other all together. So I hope that you found this tutorial super easy to follow and hopefully it's been able to give you some inspiration whether you're going on a date or you're going out with your friends, family, whatever. Do you know what I mean? Wherever. If you want to wear this to the shopping centre, you wear this to the shopping centre, hun. You do you. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great week. Take care. Bye.